TGR. So what I was trying to say is that I am so excited to finally talk to this man about Resident Evil Village um, and and whatnot. But um, there was somebody that passed away um, that we should talk about, I think. Um, yeah. And I think, honestly, like Onyx should, should have this because I barely know the dude. I know his influence. And I know of him, but I do not know of him, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, so Kentaro Miura, right? As I'm sure if you have, you know, follow us on YouTube, which I'm sure most of you do, um, you might have seen the little, small little video that I wanted to put together this morning just because, like, his death really hit home, right? And it's not because I know every little thing about the author, right? It's not because he was like this grandiose figure in my life that I looked up to, right? But I did look up to him as a creator. Uh, I know some bits of his, of his life. Uh, actually, today, which I shared on Twitter, the author of Hajime no Ippo, which is a really big popular boxing manga, um, wrote like a little memory that he had. So they, they met when they were both very young. Uh, he was 20 and Miura was 19. And Miura come, comes up to him. He was like an assistant to him. And he comes up to him with like a notebook. And, and the author of Hajime no Ippo asked him, hey, you know, what do you have there? And he was like, oh, here are my sketches. And he showed him these sketches. And he saw a tall, big man with a giant sword, a fairy. And it, little did he know, but that was Guts, right? That was Guts from Berserk. He had already had... He had Guts in his mind for a very long time. He knew that he wanted to create a story. And the crazy thing is, like, Miura had actually drawn a manga when he was 10 years old. He was that talented. And that manga ran for, like, 40 volumes. The dude was talented. The dude was, like, when, when the author of Hajime no Ippo saw his work, he told him, I have nothing to teach you. What you have surpasses even me in terms of just raw skill. And just in, in terms of just if we talk about the art, if you see the ch like the, his first chapter of Berserk and you see one of the later chapters, it's insane. His improvement throughout the years was just glorious. Every panel felt like a genuine drawing, a genuine work of art, right? So we have that aspect of him. As an artist, he was impeccable. As a person, Everybody that has interviewed him, that has talked about him, has said that he was just a joy to work with. He was always smiling. He never put anybody down, never put pressure on anyone, on any of his assistants or anything like that. So the guy just genuinely was very private. He didn't like doing interviews. He didn't like being in front of the camera. There's barely any pictures of him out there. Uh, so he was a very private person himself. Um, but clearly, he, he had visions that he wanted to put on paper. Right. You know? Um, so knowing all this little bit of information that I've kind of just accumulated throughout the years, um, I, I always knew that Berserk was, an, 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 you know, a lot of people talked about the manga, the 1997 anime, which fun fact was actually animated by OLM, which is the studio that does Pokemon. So Pokemon and Berserk have a connection. Kind of cool. Um, but you know, I never got around to, to really reading it until... Well, I didn't read it until, like, a couple of years back, but I watched the movies that came out that adapted the um, what they called the Golden Age arc, and that was in 2012-ish. That's when I watched those three movies, and it blew my mind. I was just like, wow, th this is good stuff. Now, the movie had a lot of CGI, so the animation wasn't perfect, though it did get better as the trilogy went on, um, but the story is what captivated me. And I thought, damn, I really hope that we get an anime adaptation that covers everything. And we did. In 2016, uh, they announced that Berserk was getting an anime adaptation that would adapt stuff that had never been adapted before. And it was full CGI. Not, not like the movies where it was like 2D animation mixed with CGI. No, no, no. It was full CGI, and it was a travesty. Awful. Awful shit. Awful. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, I didn't even bother watching it. I told myself, you know what? Whenever I get the chance to, I'm going to read this manga. And uh, I did. Like in 2017, I think, or 2018, I started reading it little by little. And within about two months of daily reading, I, I read the entire 360-plus chapters that were out at the time. Uh, and yeah, 
honestly masterpiece like that is and i don't say this lightly i, I don't i don't like throwing out the word masterpiece you know you know i don't like throwing out the word perfect or, or or even 10 out of 10 right but this is one of those few works that i have read in my life right in terms of manga literature which i'm not going to say i'm a huge literature buff i'm not i've read plenty of books but i'm not that crazy into books um i've watched a lot of movies a lot of anime series whatever you name it this is a masterpiece berserk is a masterpiece and only a very special person can do something like this, right? To inspire not just stuff in manga, in anime, but also outside. Like, I started watching the first movie with my wife today because I thought, hey, I want to I get you into this. You know, it's very mature. It's very dark. It's very reminiscent of Game of Thrones. And as she started watching it, she was like, holy shit, like, this is so similar to Game of Thrones. And I don't know if J.R.R. Martin, uh, J.R.R. Martin, no, George R.R. Martin. George R. yeah, okay. I, I, was, I meant J.R.R. Tolkien, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. R.R. Um, I don't know if George R. R. Martin, R. Martin like read Berserk. I don't know if he was aware of Berserk or whatnot. But I, I would like to say there has to be some sort of influence because Berserk was, you know, it came out in the '80s, uh, and he didn't start writing uh, Game of Thrones until the '90s. So I don't know. But either way, masterpiece. Um, and after reading it, and after you know, like understanding like that, he took a lot of experiences from life. Like I, I feel like he put himself as guts like that was the representation of him as a person mm -hmm. um you know it's just there was a lot of really good life lessons there there was a lot of things that as i'm reading it i'm like damn that makes a lot of sense right it's about dreams and following those dreams and and what is life for but the biggest thing that i took away from berserk was that like the main character guts he he goes through a lot like he goes through hell genuinely he he is one of the most tortured characters in all of anime and all of manga but he keeps on trucking along he keeps on going and if anything if i'm if i were to take away any lesson from the work it's that it's that you genuinely just keep on going because you may you may love people and you may lose people in this journey you may try to be better for yourself you may try to be better for others and things just may not work out but if you keep going you will eventually reach a place where you'll be happy and and that is a lesson that i think like i'm just i'm never gonna forget berserk and i think mira for that i genuinely do dude was talented and he will be very very missed and i hope that we can somehow see the end uh there's rumors that apparently he actually finished storyboarding the the entire story mm -hmm. it just needed to be drawn so we may not get the impeccable art that we expect from Miura, obviously but maybe we'll see the end of the story someday but yeah that's that's my little my little talk uh, your, your, your tribute so to speak yeah um that's awesome because i i know that like the brief times that i've been like hey man like i saw this at books a million and i'm intrigued like mm -hmm. it's humongous but i'm intrigued i'm genuinely like willing to spend the I, I 40 know, something dollars it's yeah, 45 I, I was gonna say like 50 bucks is like what i saw it at like deluxe 40... editions yeah 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 and they're like thick they're humongous and i, I was just i saw, think like... they get like like four or five volumes in each one of them so you have yeah. a couple hundred pages yeah yeah and so i'm just yeah. like i'm thinking about getting it and you were just all like well you know if you get into it like take your time enjoy it blah blah, blah because there it hasn't finished yet and yeah, i remember right. you telling me that so um I'm if there if the rumors of, of what you're saying is true that there is an ending to it and that it's actually out in the wild then um then that would be good because that means that there's some form of like an idea of what the ending should be uh from him so yeah and 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 there's you know like I said there there's hopes you know I, I like it what's what's really sad too is that you know for years it's almost been the butt of the joke that uh that Miura was never going to finish Berserk, right? That's always kind of been a, a joke. Like, oh, we're all going to die before he gets to the end, you know? Um, but I don't think anybody really thought that that would happen, right? Everybody joked around. I've seen that shit everywhere. But I don't think everybody, anyone took it serious. I think people just thought, yeah, he's taking his time. You know, he'll probably, you know, just get to it eventually. But he won't, yeah. you know? And I can, I can see him, you know, if, 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 you know, the afterlife is real and he's out there doing something, looking down or whatever. He's probably thinking, damn, I really wish I could have finished that, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because um, man. But I don't know. It well, just it, it sucks for for like it, it sucks for people that maybe started reading Berserk a long time ago and right. died. 
and didn't yeah. get to see the end. It sucks for those people that, you know, got to a certain point in Berserk and maybe passed away themselves and didn't get to see where it's, it's even now. Because right, literally in one of the recent chapters, a major, major thing that happened, like, not even exaggerated, like 20 years ago, finally got undone. Mm -hmm. And that moment was so big for people that have been following Berserk for so long mm -hmm. that shit i just i can't even imagine like not being able to see that if you are that invested into the story so <sighs> and, and you know what's crazy too you, you know because of this you know who started trending on twitter a little bit freaking yoshihiro togashi the guy that writes hunter hunter really who also has been known to have yeah. bad health mm -hmm. who's you know almost 50 if not in his 50s and who also has a problem with hiatuses because of his health um so i you know if anything on a, on a more generalized term Right, without thinking of Berserk, just we got to take care of ourselves, right? I agree. He was 54 years old. You yeah. know, he he had an aortic, aortic, aortic something dissection. Essentially, the the one of the layers of the vessels ruptured, mm -hmm. right, and and it killed him. Yeah, man. So, I mean, what what? That's that's one thing that like you know earlier this year for for you guys that don't know, like I went to the doctor and like my doctor pretty much went ahead and said, hey, dude. Your cholesterol is like through the roof. If you do not get your cholesterol under control, you will have to go onto meds in order to essentially survive. And I, I didn't tell you this, but um, last year in 2020, like around September-ish, November-ish, my wife and I, we, we got some takeout, we brought it home, I ate it, and it was not the healthiest meal in the world. And like very, very, very briefly, my heart, like went and i was oh. just like oh that that was like nothing i i brushed it off and i yeah. didn't think i didn't think twice of it and now like in hindsight i'm just like oh shit like that may have been like a blockage and my heart was literally like trying to like right. pump yeah, right. that out uh like the clot or whatever the hell it was so um i i think it was felix um, on Discord that was like, dude, you look like you've lost some weight. Right, and yeah. it, it's because of that. It's because my doctor went ahead and literally said, dude, your cholesterol is too high. You need to get it under control. If not, you're going to be on meds. So um, I've lost around 20, 25 pounds, and I'm literally doing cardio. Joel, I don't know if you're still watching Tokayo, but um, yeah, Ring Fit Adventure, that, that, this, is, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. I do ring fit adventure for like 20, 30 minutes a day, take one day off. And then I have a pull up bar that I use to try to kind of like get guns. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't really work out, but I'm trying. Um, but legitimately, like that's the truth, man. Like if you don't take care of yourself now, this is what is, that's the potential of what might happen. Right. That's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, guys, you know, for those of you that are, that are, watching uh you know thank you so much for regner thanks so much for the compliment on the video i do appreciate it It was very simple i just like i told rudy earlier i was like i'm gonna put this video out no ads no crazy show showmanship or anything like nope. i put a thumbnail together in about 30 seconds and it it when i saw that thumbnail i was just like yeah yeah i think i think this is it like this is what i want to to portray Right, that yeah. panel of guts being sad is very heartbreaking if you know the panel itself and the intricacies of the story. But that's just that's how I felt today, and I really wanted to put that out. So there it is. Yeah. Um, but if you're if anybody here is ever at all interested in Berserk, just read it. If you have access to Netflix and the Ber the Berserk trilogy is actually on Netflix, that's how I started with the series. You can start there yourself. Uh, I would always and would forever recommend the manga above that. But if you want to just get a taste, watch the first movie. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. It's not long at all. And it'll give you an idea. Just understand the animation is kind of meh uh, because it's it's part CGI. It gets a lot better in the second and third movie, but the first one is kind of rough to watch. Yeah. Uh, but watch it and, and just take time to appreciate uh, the creation that this man put out there and that inspired a ton of shit. If you're a fan of Dark Souls, you gotta think Miura a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dark Souls, anything, anything that was dark fantasy like from Japan, I can guarantee you was inspired by Kentaro Miura and Berserk. Berserk. So, cool.
cool, cool. But yeah, that's, thank that's, you so much for listening to me, Rand. <laughs> yeah.